Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be experimenting with a recipe. I want to make peach cobbler, but I want to use angel food cake mix in place of the flour. I have never done this before, so let's see how it turns out. So I have an angel food cake mix right here that I have measured out one cup of the cake mix. That's going into the bowl. The rest of the cake mix I will make into angel food cake and bake in a loaf pan. You need six tablespoons of butter in a um, baking dish. This is a Pyrex 11 cup baking dish. I like these because they have the plastic lids, but I'm gonna pop this in the oven so the butter can melt. While that's melting, I have uh, a 15 ounce can of peaches in 100% uh, juice. I'm using the juice and the peaches, which I have cut up in this bowl. You can use the peaches whole if you want, but I cut mine up because I like the, I like the chunks of peaches better than the long slices. But I've got the 15 ounce can of peaches cut up and ready to go in this bowl. You will need two thirds cup of water, one quarter cup of flour, one quarter cup of sugar, one quarter cup of milk, cinnamon, and some brown sugar. Let's see how this turns out. So in my bowl here, I already have the one cup of angel food cake mix. I'm going to add to it my two thirds cup of water, and my one quarter cup of flour. My one quarter cup of sugar, granulated sugar. And my one quarter cup of milk. With my whisk, I'm going to whip this up. All right, and to that, I'm going to shake in some cinnamon just to kind of flavor this up. About like that. I like a lot of flavor. I like cinnamon. Okay, this is all mixed up now. So now I'm going to take my uh, batter here. And I'm going to put it in my, my dish over the melted butter, but I'm not going to mix it in. I'm just going to pour it in over the melted butter. Then I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to spoon my peaches on top of the batter without stirring it all up. I'm just going to randomly put them here and they're going to sink down 
Goose and all. All right, and then I'm going to take some of the brown sugar and I'm going to sprinkle some brown sugar on top just a little bit. And then we're going to pop this in the oven for about 35 minutes and find out what this experiment ends up turning out to be. Okay, I'm going to pause this video and I will come back in 35 minutes when this is done baking. Okay, so I have pulled this out of the oven. It smells wonderful. And we're going to do the toothpick test. And it's come out clean. And over here is my uh, angel food cake loaf. And that's come out clean. So if all else fails, I at least have angel food cake here. But I'm going to let this cool down for a minute. And then I'll come back for a taste test. So I'll be back. All right. So I am back. And I have cut a piece of this cobbler out, stuck it on a plate. It's still really warm really hot but we're gonna try this it looks delicious it smells wonderful i can smell the cinnamon the brown sugar the peaches and that aroma of angel food cake and it is still very very warm look at that yum yum Mm. This is really good. It would go good with some Cool Whip or some ice cream or just like it is. It's actually really good. I'll be making this one again. I hope you experimented along with me. I hope you like it as much as I do. And I will see you next time on Survive With What You Know. Bye.